Weblord Pepe here, and I thought that I would make a video and submit it to all of those people on YouTube who are still arguing about Linux, Macintosh, and the PC, and how basically you've all got it wrong, you're all idiots, and you don't even know what the fuck you're arguing about, so you can shut the fuck up and listen to me. Okay, basically, the problem that you're all having is that you're arguing with the wrong attributes because you're labeling things wrong. You're trying to say Mac versus PC. Well, that's not the question at all. Macs and PCs are physically equivalent. What's different about them is the software and some kind of bias stuff. That hasn't always been the case. They used to be different in hardware as well. The actual defining question was what's better, a Mac or a PC? And there was a distinct difference between the two. Now there is not. The difference is just the software. The argument which you should be presenting is what's better, OS X or Windows? And if you're talking about the latest versions, which is what you basically should do if you're trying to spin off an argument because either party would have fixed things by now, and should you say, what's better, Mac OX Leopard or Snow Leopard or Windows Vista or Windows 7? That's that argument solved. A couple of the details around that is basically they are both PCs using the x86 CPU and are both operating systems Vista and uh, Mac OS OS X and that's cool that paradigm works but then Linux comes along and you say whoa, 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 whoa hold on a minute Mac versus PC versus Linux now that makes no sense whatsoever even if you've already defined the difference between Windows and uh, Mac OS X because Linux is not an operating system Linux is a kernel for an operating system and that's a huge difference I'll take off my silly glasses for a moment so I'd stop distracting you basically Comparing Linux to Mac OS X or comparing Linux to Windows is a flawed argument because nobody gets Linux from a retail store on their computers. Nobody. You should be comparing a Linux distribution to Windows or Mac. Basically by that I mean comparing Ubuntu to Windows or compare Red Hat to a Mac OS X, basically because Ubuntu is an operating system, Linux is not. Um, essentially, another key difference in there is li uh, a Linux system, more, uh, you know, or let's just say Ubuntu, for example, um, it is not just a case of an additional third type of computer operating system. The entire paradigm is completely different. Um, Windows and Mac OS X are basically a company provides a framework, all the ground level systems, and then third party people come along and make programs for that environment. And this one company, whether it be Microsoft or Mac OS X, dictates the platform, they dictate the processes, they dictate the progress, and they dictate the limits and all that kind of stuff. Linux, on the other hand, is, well, and all of the different Linux operating systems um, are not one solid foundation. Basically, the third-party applications are the platform. Uh, when you see an application that runs on Linux, but the, the application would really just say, I want to run, I don't know, I'm a web browser, 
and I need this component, I need that component, and I need that component there. And each of those components, which say the web browser needs, um, will be provided by the various operating systems and may or may not exist depending on what you're using. For example, uh, Ubuntu uses one type of platform for displaying tick boxes and all that kind of rubbish. Another Linux distribution may not. And, uh, well, what else is there? Hmm. Ah, yes. So basically, L Linux systems are not one single platform. The other thing is GNU, G-N-U, which stands for GNU is not Unix. It's not Unix because it is essentially a statement about uh, the philosophy of the system. You, what you will find is that most Linux distributions call themselves GNU slash Unix or GNU slash Linux and what that means is that Linux is a kernel all of the additional software, say for example all the little utilities like ping, tracer out, you know list open files in this directory are all using the GNU license which is an open source license which means um, you know, you can't just make money off this and not give out the source code. It's called the GPL, the GNU General Purpose License. Yeah, generally, basically that's it. Um, what you'll find is that it's Windows versus OS X on the PC hardware, and then Linux, which is basically a kernel. Um, not an operating system. Uh, you, the operating systems which you see which involve Linux uh, have their own different pros and cons, Red Hat, Ubuntu, Debian, all that kind of jazz. Um, and what was the other thing? Oh yeah, Linux will run on every CPU out there known to man. You'll find um, Windows, say primarily the desktop versions, will only run on the x86 or X, X86 CPU architecture. Um, for your mobile platforms, your ARM CPU, they have Windows Mobile and Apple have got iPhone. Uh, Linux is completely agnostic, it'll run on everything. Um, and just to sum this up, a uh, new operating system out there called Android, uh, completely uh, CPU agnostic, as far as I'm aware, it's just been ported to ARM, ported to MIPS, runs, it'll probably run on x86 maybe. Uh, on top of that is Java, so applications are completely neutral to all hardware beneath it, as far as I'm aware. Um, and that's going to be the new contender, I believe, in the future. You'll be seeing, oh, this netbook, gee, it's really awesome, but it only runs Windows, it's got an x86 thing on it, it's really slow, or you'll have Android and it'll say, hey, I've got 10, 15 hour battery life, I kick ass, and I've got an ARM processor, Windows can't run on me. Um, you know, I'll stop babbling now, uh, I'll hide my uh, things, and uh, how do I stop this? Ah, oh, there we go.